Hi Hi everyone. Hi, I'm, I'm Gary. I'm Ronnie. We are Gower and Stitchery. The house of Gower and Totten Bags. Yay. Welcome back. Um, first things first, uh, we are a floss tube channel about cross stitch. We are an online cross stitch shop owners, and we are currently in the, the process of opening up an LNS in Ozark, Alabama. So, um, we want to thank you guys for watching and stopping by and subscribing. Uh, and also, as a side note, all of the any revenue that we get from the ads on this video, we donate to our two charities, St. Jude and Shriners Hospital. So we wanted to thank you guys for watching. We've been getting a lot of hits this last month. So um, thank you. Thank you really much. Yes. I'm out of breath there for a minute. <laughs> yeah, we're almost back in normal days, almost, yeah. after market. It's still a lot of to work mm -hmm. and a lot of to do. Yeah. But yeah, I just finished loading the last of what we purchased from market um, almost a month ago. Yes. So the last items have been posted. So if you were waiting for something to show up, go out there, check out the Nashville tab. Uh, we got a lot of goodies out there for you. We're going to show yes. you some. <laughs> and now in thank yous, mm -hmm. we have to thank our friend um, Christy in uh, Four Branch, Indiana for your lovely card. We just got it yesterday yes. or before yesterday? I think yesterday. Yesterday or before the yesterday. But thank you so very yes. much. We appreciated your beautiful card. And, and Ronnie, you got a good laugh out of you, out of um, your comment about um, his being his your stitchy dealer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. All right. All right. And then we have four other shout outs from fellow floss tubers we wanted to acknowledge and thank them so much for shouting us out thank and you. watching us. Uh, the first one is uh, Stitching Scotty. That's uh, Dottie. Thank you. Thank um, you so much. Oh, uh, yeah. She did um, her last video. She was with her friend and they did um, their St. Patrick's Day uh, finishes. So it was really cool. I love that. Yeah. Keeping it green. And then we want to thank Annie from the. We want to thank the proper stitcher, Annie. She's also a designer, a floss tuber. And uh, she told a little story about how we helped her out hanging her sign at Nashville Market. Uh, I enjoyed it because um, <laughs> it doesn't, didn't really bother me. I just didn't want to be responsible if that sign fell down. That's the only thing I was worried about. I was like, I was holding on tight, but I made sure you guys tied it off. <laughs> yeah, I just arrived in the last minute. <laughs> yeah, so I always enjoy helping out designers when we can. Yeah. It's, it's fun. It's part of the community, I think. And um, I really enjoy it. And then also we want to thank um, Memphis Sarah E. Sarah, thank fellow floss tuber and friend. Thank you, Sarah. Well, it's a pleasure to see you in um, in market. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have a new uh, watcher and um, subscriber, a recovering book hoarder. That's also a Sarah. Um, and she was she gave us a good compliment about our service. So thank you so much, Sarah. We thank really you, enjoy Sarah. it. And hope you come back again. <laughs> yeah. All right. And now. We're going to, we have, do we have a very, we have an announcement. We have a date. Yes. We have a date of when we're going to open our LNS, yes. which is a local needlework shop in Ozark, Alabama. We are going to be doing our grand opening on, on April 27th. 27. And again, <laughs> that's April 27, 2024. We will be opening up our physical location in Ozark, Alabama. At uh, nine? Eight? Uh, so it would be nine o'clock on the twenty nine on the twenty yes. seventh of April. So we'll yes. see you there. If you're looking forward to come by, we've heard a couple of you wanted to make travels trips and come on down. Yeah, you're because, more than welcome. If you go, we're giving you. If you're asking for one month in advance. We're giving you one month in a week. Oh yeah, it is a, it's a week before uh, bags bag of the month sale. Yes, <laughs> bag yes. of the month goes out. Wow. Yeah. I um, hope you can make it, mm -hmm. and we looking for to see you over here in Alabama. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We have lots of friends from Georgia and Florida, Mississippi that was planning on coming over and stopping by. So it's going to be a great event, and um, we look forward to it. It's going to be a nice Saturday. Yes. Mm -hmm. Excitement. And wait, what was that? What was that announcement yet again? We're opening up our own LNS again. <laughs> April the twenty seventh. I'm so excited. Yeah, it's been a dream. Was a was a five year plan dream 
a few years ago, and I think we've we've hit our mark. That's where I wanted to. Yeah, I we, meandered there, but we got there. <laughs> we posted a video how we're looking today. Yes, because um, we had some deliveries before yesterday. And yesterday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So now the fun part starts. We start um, loading inventory. It's going to be fun loading inventory into the new building, and that's. Pretty much because we've got a few more tables and stuff to install once they come in but otherwise it's pretty much um yeah. got racks that's got to go from here to there so it's getting pretty close yeah it's... next video probably you know go see this wall yeah because mostly 90 percent probably that this ffos mm -hmm. go be in the store yes and i'm gonna start moving it this week some some yeah 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 it, it, it may be a halloween shop with some other things in there but it's going to be a yeah a great lns yeah because in this wall go be um what is called this pegboard pegboards for putting all the threads and all the things we have in, in racks over to here and over this wall mm -hmm. and that way we can bring that ones to the shop yeah so then that way we'll be flexible we'll different yeah. <laughs> that way we'll be flexible as to where we're going to film we may film here we may film there yeah we may film in the store who knows we'll yeah. keep it keep it fun yeah all right and saying that and saying that we wanted to... to thank um karen brennan from fox and rabbit yes. they were so gracious to send us our first trunk show which part part sorry part of sorry. the trunk show part of the trunk show yeah. uh so we we put that up and we'll show it in the video when we um show this shop video so yeah. um very excited to have that as the first thing we put it in the yeah. store yeah first thing we put on the wall yeah <laughs> all right now we want to go into what's new in the shop mm, wait with For the whips oh you jump the whips and the stars i got <laughs> Told you. I had to put him in line. So we were okay. I was so excited about the announcement. What was the announcement again? You jumped the other one. I know. What was the announcement again? <laughs> the 27th of April, the what? store will be open. Yes. <laughs> All right. We're All right. going to whips. Okay. So the stars. New stars first. Oh, new stars. Oh, new new stars first. Okay. You have new stars. Right. I have a new start. I <laughs> finally started my JBW for this month. It's Rabbits in the Round by JBW. And I'm using Cottage Garden Thread. And I have fabric from the Atomic Ranch Fabric of the Month Club called Vanilla Cream. Look and at that look, beautiful. Look at those little rabbits, a little bit of pink and green. This thread is really fun to stitch with. It, the color I'm using is Sweet Pea. So um, it's, it's still a lot more to do, but I didn't want to finish it before the video. So I wanted to show you guys progress. This was a Thread of the Month. No, no, no. This is a regular oh, thread oh. in the store. Okay. I'm Just sorry. the fabric was the thread of the month. I'm sorry, I'm thinking the thread was. No, I don't think so. Because you say it's from your stash. I know, I have a lot of... I, <laughs> I, I may or may not have a great collection of cottage garden threads in my stash. Okay. okay. But that is beautiful. Yes. So, yeah. It, it's been very fun to stitch with. I'm you doing each... put it closer to the each, camera. Each rabbit individually. So they're yeah. all getting different um, variegations and flows of the color. So it's not going to read like a typewriter thing. It's going to be... They're all going in a little bit different direction. And I'm enjoying it. Okay. All right. And... Now, whips. My you... whip. I'm working the uh, Ronnie Sakatumi style. Um, the stocking style. And... Um, because I haven't really, this is this piece has been in my Q snap since the first of March, and so this is the only thing I've been focusing on and stitching on because it's kind of easy. I know I know the colors, I know the symbols, I'm used to the pattern, so it's just easy. You know, put a couple of hours on this piece. So yes, Gina, I know it's almost done, but it's not quite yet. So I got the top of my tree, and this is on 36 count Patriots Brew by R and R using the called four threads and here in the pattern is Olga's autumn stocking. So here's the pattern. So I'm right up there, see the top of the tree. I got the last branch of the tree done. So I'm, I'm filling in leaves and then I'm going to start working on the house. And of course there's like three birds, three birds on the house, a couple of acorns and stuff. So this has been a very fun project. I don't know if it'll be done by next video, but it's going to be a little bit closer. Yeah. Because I really want to get it done and finished for the opening, maybe, if it's possible. 
I don't know. Another model. Another model. Ooh, awesome. <laughs> and I do have more of those on order because it's been constantly uh, reordering stuff as we go through. Yeah. Mine um, whip is my stocking. Everybody know I'm was I am stitching. But before I do it, let me tell you guys. Was hard, hard to stitch because my daughter, Ginger Hobart, she don't want to stitch. Because she's saying I'm working too much. Okay, let's, let's, Ginger is, is... My baby. Yeah. Everybody know okay. my baby. Ginger, my puro. Yes. Okay. <laughs> That's my baby. Uh, she don't want me to stitch. She's time I sit down to stitch. She come in and slam me, slam me, slam me. She bring me toys. Was a nightmare. But I made my 305 stitches this week. 305? 305. So next week he's got to do 295. So he's... No, I'm behind. <laughs> to, uh, four weeks. Four or three weeks. But uh -uh. yeah, I know. But this is my progress and kind of opportunity to do this part. And I made it that and I forgot it's the Stony Creek Santa Workshop. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I'm stitching in 18. No, 16 count. 16 count. White opalescent. Yes. Sorry, guys. My head is everywhere in this day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that is my progress. And now Doesn't we're it look going. Good? I mean, he's doing all the back stitching as he goes. So I mean, he he. This is his his kryptonite is white on white, oh, and yeah. uh, that's what that was his biggest struggle. It's a struggle, especially when one girl come in and slap you, slap you, slap you, and say stop stitching. <laughs> and what was it Wednesday? I'm thinking Wednesday. My heart so was so broke and stop stitching. I say I don't go do no more and do three or five. Yeah. Because she really, really is. She just wanted to play. Yeah. I mean, she is a long all day. Okay. All right. So what we're going to show now is yes. what's new in the shop. Some of, some of this is what we got back from Nashville and we finally loaded. Some of this is new stuff that's come in. Um, it's a bit of a mix. And any of these items are all listed on our website at garon-stitchery.com. That way, if anybody asks, how do I get this stuff? We get those questions. So yeah. I thought I'll let you know. Um, we start with charts. Yeah, this is the charts. Okay, start in this chart and then go on the other box. That's because this is the goodies. No, no, this is not new stuff. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. This is all the. We're back to our design, our designer. Uh, shop to shop. Shop to shop, but we're not there yet. Let's let's focus on one thing. Yes, 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 yes. All right, so now we're going to show what's new in the shop or what's back in the shop. Yes. And this is uh, Franny Ritter, uh, Pumpkin Brew. And I'll show you um, something from uh, Franny later, because when I was in her room at Nashville, she had this little thing finished on one of these um, little wooden things that she that we have here to show you later. And now we have the latest from uh, Quaint, Quaint Rose Needle Arts. She was not at Nashville, but she had her new releases come out during this time frame. And this one is called By Oh, by Grace Needlebook. I need to make sure I label that right in the website. By Grace Needlework, Needlebook. And it's stitched on, um, she's, it says it's stitched on paper, 18 count paper. And they did some of the Tim Holtz um, antiquing on it. So it's kind of fun. Um, but you can stitch this clearly, you can stitch it on fabric. I think it'll be just as gorgeous on fabric. I'm more of a fabric person. Uh -huh. I think it's very cute. And this is another one in her series. She's got an urn series. This is a tulip urn. And she does the two different fabrics. So at the bottom, it's got the petite point at the bottom. And then you attach it to the other fabric on top, which is a ash rose. And both, both of these are in a 32 count. And now this little guy, I, I talked about him a little bit last week because I knew he was coming. So this is the companion to, to the penguin that I showed last week. This is Roxy Rabbit. And some of you already know he's out there because we already shipped two orders after I loaded him in the website. So her, I guess it's her, it's a Roxy, Roxy Rabbit. This, isn't she cute? I love the, um, 
the motifs in the rabbit. Yeah, it's just beautiful. I like that series. And then here we have, um, it's called, uh, the name of it is Jane Evans, 1850. Jane Evans, 1850. It's an interesting um, way the, the letters are done on the top there. It's kind of cool. Nice and big and looks like you can finish them fast. And this is another one from the uh, Praiseworthy Stitches series. They have a We Haunting series. This is Moonlight Madness. Remember last week we talked about the um, the mummies and the and the ribbons mm -hmm. were coming off the mummies and the cat. And this is the Moonlight Madness. This has got a little hat, some jack-o'-lanterns, a little ghosts and cats. Cats and the moon. Yeah, so this is a Moonlight Madness. I need to take some of these out to save on my shoulders. There you go. <laughs> All right, now we have um, Chessie and me. I'm sure that you spelled it. Uh, this is Miriam Gehen, 1832 sampler. Is that pretty? Look at that. I love the drum. I mean, that's really pretty. Mm -hmm. All right, and next we have Berry Basket. So this is, it's it's a little, two little pieces. It's got the little alphabet here that you would stitch and then you got the little oval part. And that is a berry basket. Now this one is so cute. It's got two photos. I wanted to show both photos. So if you hold that there, this is called Quaker Star Needle Needsfuls. So this is the cover of it. And this little piece right here opens up, and then this is the inside of it. So you would stitch this little piece right there and attach it to the fabric on the inside. I need this one. I need this. Oops. I need you one. Too. Yeah, so we don't lose it. <laughs> and she does real photos. I love it. You know, it's like Kodak, a Kodak moment. This next one is Return of the Whales. That is pretty. Very um, northern. Okay. Oh, this is more. That. Oh, this is from here. Yeah. Oh. And now we got where where we love where we love sampler. Oh, this is cute. Oh. Like a couple with a new house or something. I think it would be kind of cute. Where we love. Mm. Okay. Next, we have, okay, this is an old one uh, from Erica Michaels, and I saw it, and I just thought it was super cute. Initially, it was done on, um, I think it was done on silk gauze, but you can do these on linen and not have to stitch some of the fill in, and I think it's just a cute piece. It's a very pretty piece that um, I think is really cute. I love the bright colors of the yellow. And so you could do the, this is called Christmas Bits and it's all done with Weeks and Gentle Arts and a little bit of DMC. So you could do um, do it on like a 36 count or, or even 18 count if you wanted to keep it smaller. But I think 32 or 28 is just perfect. And here was the latest one from the Stitching with the Housewives. This is Queen Bee, Queen Bee Quilt Company. We have a few of these in the shop. And then of course, this is one of my favorites. It's an it's a Bent Creek um, kit. It's called Heart of Hearts. Oh, so it's so it's done with pearl cotton threads on 20 count linen. So you do one thread, two over two, one thread, one thread over two. Say that fast. Okay. And I like the fact these are the things where it's got a little, bunch of little hearts that make into a bigger I'm heart. I'm going to show, but there's bag in a bag in a bag. <laughs> yeah. yeah the Very beautiful. protected. Yeah, they're really good at Bank Creek when they put that stuff together. Okay. And now we have... Okay. Now we have... Okay, so this one, you're going to say, well, this, is this deja vu? But Franny Ritter, she did the Baking Lover Santa twice. She did one as a rustic design and one as a bright design. So this one is the more rustic design. And we've and it, this is 
the one with the more rusty. And there's not um, back stitching. There's not that much back stitch. Just a little bit around the face and the hat, but the other one's got more. The bright one has more back stitching. Yeah. So that's really the difference in the colors and a little, little bit, almost the same. Yeah. That's a cute but one. But you can see the difference with the back stitching. Yeah. Very. Yeah. And this is two patterns from Needle Made Designs. This is learn what is true in order to do what is right. Is this not pretty? And these are all done with Belsois, um, Classic Colorworks Belsois. And there's DMC conversion if you didn't want to do it like that. And I think this is, would be the companion piece. This is Speak the Truth in Love. So it's the same theme. And look, the colors are very close. So they'd be perfect uh, hung together. And they use, they use the same exact same colors. When I was loading, I thought maybe I was doing it wrong, but it's the exact same thread. So if you, so, you know, one pack of threads, because we'll take care of both of them. <laughs> Uh-oh, I think we have. He got a little carried away. I think he likes this design. Nora Corbett, what? on the 15th of every month, one month it's Nora Corbett, a smaller design, and the next month it's a Mirabilia, which is one of her full-size designs. I am so happy for these two on the, on the Nora Corbett month, we either get two or three patterns, but I'm super happy with the two mermaids that she did for the Nora Corbett this month because they've got faces. They're not just thumbs. They have very pretty faces. And look at this. This is um, North Atlantic Mermaid. Is she not the most gorgeous thing out there? Look at that. I just love what you, it's just, it's a different, you know, how the face, the hair and everything, it's really a cool, um, you don't normally see this pose a lot. So there's her, and here's her sister. The other ones have faces. Um, no, not the, not, 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 I'm not talking, no, no, oh, but... I'm not talking about these, but I'm talking about her latest ones. She's been doing oh. nothing but thumbs. Okay. Um, here, show her back up. This is her sister, oh, South I Atlantic. I and see this picture. Yeah. This is her sister, South Atlantic Mermaid. This is South Atlantic Mermaid, and this is her sister. This is what we're talking about. It's been a long day. We'll get there in the end. All right. So are they not the most gorgeous? And we have the bead packs for them. And so so he just kept showing it, oh, kept showing it. Kept showing it. <laughs> All right. So now we got. Now, it's, now I was going to set up my crown. <laughs> All right. I'm going to show some goodies now. These are from um, Rami's Creations. We got some thread packs. These are charts that she released uh, at market. This is Catacorn. So these are her threads that's needed to finish the design, Catacorn. These are really pretty, look at this. So, ah, so this is the Catacorn, there it is. Catacorn design, I got it, it's good. And this is another one of her releases. It's called It's a Beautiful Day. And this is a really pretty piece. It's got, um, it's about cross stitching. So it's a beautiful day. And okay, I'll use this paper that he folded for me. Is that pretty? I like Rami's threads. They're very nice and fun to work with. And her colors are very bright. Yeah. Have I have to put it back in the bag. Even you guys not like the noise, but this cannot be out. He he will try. All right. So now we have um this is a kit from Fern Ridge Collections. They're actually in the state of Alabama. Oh really? Yeah. They're like oh, not they're only like an hour or so from us. This is Home of the Brave. It's a complete kit. And this is Home of the Brave. So it's got all the finishing gadgets. Look at it. There's even a pair of scissors, scissors, tape measure, all the buttons and stuff. And um, speaking of the tape measure and the buttons, the charms. Uh, after we got this from market and we came home and we shipped our order, um, the designer said, oops, we forgot to put the tape measure and the buttons in there. So I I did mail those off to the, to the lady who bought this kit. It's in the mail to you. I sent you a message if you didn't see it yet. But this one is now fully completed, so it's ready to go out the door. Oh, cool. Yeah. 
So um, now we have two little things from Manny Dodonna. This is um, the ladybug um, pins. So it's got a little ladybug, a little daisy, a little daisy there. I think it's great for any barrier little Manny pillow. Dodonna. Oh, MTV. Excuse Sorry me. about that. Sorry, I saw M and my, my brain went blank. Yeah. MTV. MTV. Yeah. This is MTV. It's a needle minder. It's a daisy needle minder. Is that pretty? A little magnet right there. We have it in a little box to protect it because it's yeah, it is very, very fragile. fragile. Yes. Yeah. We had that. We did that good, didn't we? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. I'm like trying to figure out what to grab into next. Okay. Let's do some of the buttons. Okay. Let me get it. Oh, you're gonna help me? Yes. Okay. So you have to show it this way. Okay. So this is what I call this one. Yeah. Um, button button Christmas buttons uh, set A B C. Um, so when you look on them, you'll see they're all a little bit different, a little bit similar. So this is uh, three little pins with peppermint, candy cane, and um, little holly. I got I picked okay. up these uh, from the from her shop because remember last week I showed you the, the that one big piece and it, she broke it down into three little pillows. I thought these were about <laughs> perfect to stick inside those little pillows. Here's a peppermint, a little present, and a candy cane. And then the next one is a little heart, Merry Xmas, and a candy cane. I like these because they're just a little bit of pins to um, to go with your little pillows, or little berries, or whatever. All right. So now I'm going to show some. Where is what do you want to show? Um, the pumpkin is over there. Give me and pass oh. it to you. <laughs> I want to pumpkin do, is here. All right, I want to do all the little. Okay, this is from Franny Ritter. This is the pumpkin. It's it's wood, and she painted it. So this is the pumpkin that she finished that little uh, pattern on. That little pattern that um, had the pumpkin on there. So that was pretty cute. You can put anything on it. She gives you a little template. So, you know, if it fits in this circle, it's going to fit on this piece, which is nice. And then we have, these are some little tags. There's like two little white tags in here that you can add any of your little paper pieces on or something. Very flexible. Here is... Um, so we got this one with with the uh, red and white string, and then we got one with the natural string, and then we mm -hmm. have I want to call this one green, but it's it's actually a brown. And so there's two pet tags in here, and then these are a bunch. These are some smaller ones. So there's just some smaller ones that she hand glued all the ribbon around there for you guys. So you get two in a little pack. And then we have, this is from the tags of the season. This one has four little tags in there. And you do this tags of the season. They're like little seed packs that she had in her chart. So there's that, all four of those in there. But you can put anything on here, which is great. Because once you have a little board that's finished, I don't like finishing boards. So once they're finished, I'm good. This little guy, he is, it's just a little bitty frame. Is he not the cutest? So I saw these and I picked them up because in the cookbook, there's a little squirrel from um, from the blue flower in there. And I think you could, you could stitch it and put him right in here. And then there's a little rabbit. There's a couple of little patterns in the cookbook that would fit perfect in this. So that's great. Yeah, that. please. And this is from Franny Ritter. Uh, it's um, stickers and it says cross stitch is love made visible so you would get three stickers they're individual so it's three individual stickers and these are buttons and now he's got he's got me buttons i saw these these are from the b company and it's a it's a the designer is in france and so some of these are really cute little wooden um bead buttons that you could put on your stitching to enhance it so here's like little stockings Christmas stockings. And then here is uh, Noel and Joy. They have them on a tree like this, but you wouldn't have to put them on a tree. You could just stick them any way you wanted to on your stitching. And then here are the presents, Christmas presents. Oh, is that not super cute? 
Very, so like, very cute. I think you, so you could like mix and match the buttons to make, make your little piece pop more. Like here's a little reindeers. I was thinking the reindeers in the presents would be cute for that pattern from, um, from Shakespeare's Peddler, a little, a, was it Little Christmas? It had some little buttons on there. I thought it'd be cute. And of course, it wouldn't be me if I didn't find some buttons that were Halloween. Look at that. Trick or treat. Super cute. Mm -hmm. right. And then we we are slowly getting in um, some of our missing items from designers that were had issues. So we got in the primitive hair items. This is Mr. Gibson, the dog scissor fob. Is he not the cutest thing ever? Hey, Joy, are you looking? I know you like this little guy. All right. And now we have, this is uh, the leprechaun scissor fob. Isn't he cute? And then here's the companion uh, lucky pens that go with, with him. Mm -hmm. And uh, talking about pre-orders that we, we send it. I, oh, I did that they one. They are the repeating. Oh. What are you doing? Why do you I'm... put your hands in my box? I'm working here. Oh, okay. All right, we can go with Lady Dot. Okay, Lady Dot. Okay, so Lady Lois Dot. Lois created some amazing little, what she calls a uh, button cloche. And they're antique mother of pearl buttons. So this is, if I said it wrong, this is what it looks like. And so there's this one, it's the longer tube. So these are antique pearl buttons mother of pearl buttons and then she also has the smaller one this is this would be the the tube one and this is the the, the smaller one so it's got like some little pearl buttons mother of pearl buttons in there which are great to add they're antique they're vintage buttons mm -hmm. so these are great little collection things to have all right now i don't use this but i know some people do use uh, a laying tool don't ask me how to use it because I don't know how to use it because I don't use it. But I know people have asked for them. So I saw these and I thought I was very intrigued. You can pull it out. Because these, I don't want to stab myself. These are porcupine quills. This is a porcupine quill laying tool. And so it's, they're all, they're all natural from porcupines, they're, they, they are shedded. They don't pull them out, so they're shedded naturally. And she's embellished it with a little, little jewel on the end. And she put this little protector thing here to protect you from being poked, because it's very sharp. So this is, it's called the crowned quill is the, the maker. Is that not cute? Look at the little porcupine right there. But these are cute because it's like a little thing that you, you would use to lay your thread so they don't lay flat on your stitching. Hmm. All right. There we have this lid. All right, and then we have a thread keep, and we've packaged it up with a sharpie so that you could. It's a reusable thread keep, so you would label your pieces here, your threads, and then put your threads there. And this, these are actually cut into the piece. So this is a uh, thread keep, reusable thread keep. Yeah. So you wouldn't have to worry about it. Okay, mm -hmm. now we go with this. All right, okay, now this is a limited edition Gentle Arts thread pack. Um, the colors are unique and uh, they're sealed. So this is Once Upon a Time and you get oh, five colors. So you can't see the threads, is the, is, but you get to see the names. You must kind of see. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's iridescent. So it's Bad Wolf, which Big Bad Wolf, which is a gray and white. Witch's Cauldron, which is a dark purple and hints of gray. Lost Boys is maroon with brown and gold. Cursed Rose is deep magenta with light pink. Siren Song is teal and green. So these are limited edition colors and they've got them all created in this cute little pack. So it's a fun little piece. Mm -hmm. Now, I went through, um, Vicki Clayton's website, and I created this one thread pack for a pattern that, that came out at um, Market. It's called uh, Polly, Polly Nader's Garden by the Nebby Needle, 
and I thought the pattern would be super cute if you stitched it with Vicky Clayton silks. And I pulled these colors because it was only four colors, so it's pretty easy. If it's more than four, I can't do it because I just want to show you what these colors look like on the side view. So it was only four very simple colors, and it's that B pattern of, of um, the Nebby Needles. And I think these colors will be very cute. This is not a black. This is like a very dark chocolatey brown. Mm. So um, I think that'd be cool. Instead of doing a black bee, you do a chocolatey brown bee. Sorry, you go here. But, the, yeah, but I wanted, you know, I wanted you guys to know um, that was my pick of colors. So it's not official. It's not, don't say, you know, go back and say, oh, someone did something wrong. But this is my interpretation of the colors. Okay. We, I go crazy with scissors this time, and I found this, uh, this cat, this kitties, and I was thinking, man, and y'all, who love kitties? Okay. This is there the fuchsia. Uh-huh. This is the green. Green. And this is the blue. And these are from Bowen, Bowen Scissors. Yeah. This one is from DMC. DMC. And it's a uh, golden copper. This one, who was it? This one. Um, this one is. I forgot. Oh, the name. I forgot the name. Um, they are gorgeous. Yeah. So these are the scissors. Is it not pretty? Uh, and I and have to one? get this. Kitty. Oh, you didn't get the rabbit. You only got the cat. There was a rabbit too. Yeah. But yeah, there's a rabbit too. And the rabbit is from Bowen. Yeah, I don't know why this one. This one is from a French company. Um, a new one to me, but we loaded it on the website under okay. the Nashville stuff. All right. And that is all the goodies for now. No, it's not. We have more over there. Oh. He lied. <laughs> I'm lying. <laughs> The new wigs that works is over here. And the, from here to there is Queen Anne's. Yeah, Queen Anne's Lace. Winter. Wheat. Winter Wheat. Mm -hmm. Wheat. Yeah, Wheat. Okay. Cardinal. River Author. Mm -hmm. And Grassland. Yeah, the grassland I think is really a cool color. Of course, it's green. Oh, it is? Oh, I didn't notice. <laughs> but I like the red. I like the new red because it's not a Cardinal. harsh, harsh red. Yeah. Cardinal is a nice and red. Yes. I love these new colors. They're like a little bit softer. Um, they'll go, I think they'll, I'm looking forward to seeing what the designers do with the new colors this year. Yes, that is with the works, new threads. And now we have gentle art. And we're going to start with... Uh, um, okay, this one, this think, next one is a limited edition. They don't uh, put their names on their limited edition. So once these threads are gone, they're gone. Uh, they told us the name is Mantis, but it's not going to be reproduced. So it's... And I tried to get as much as I could because it's it's like our colors. Yeah. And this one is Wisteria. Uh-huh. Dragon Fruit. And Golden Road. Yep. Yeah. All right. These are nice bright colors, aren't they? There we have. This is from Dames of the Needle. These cuties. Scissor fobs. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I'm trying to. So we, they're, um, let's see what it is. So we've it. got X Stitch right here. We have Rip It with a little frog on him. And then we have Stitcher and then we have Needle, Needler which is a little owl, a little bobbin, a little rabbit. So these are pretty fun. They're very heavy, you know, heavy duty, like little wooden blocks. I think they're super cute. Okay. Now we go in with fabrics. Like we just got it from uh, Atomic Ranch. This is their spring collection for this and year. Here is the name. This one is Honeydew Spritz. Okay, that got no help in there. Maybe if you fold Let's it up. See. Sometimes you can double it. No, more close. Hold on. Sorry, guys. It's a very nice green. Yeah, it's, it's like a nice, means. nice. It's the same green as our building inside. It's the same 
green as the walls in our building. Yeah. So I'm like, we could have just had this put up on yeah. the walls instead of painting. I'm going to fold this one too, for you can see better too. This is a very pretty, this is peach. The, oh, look in there. Yeah, this is right called there. Peach Bellini, I guess. Yeah, Peach Bellini. Yeah, there, there it is. It's kind of peachy, pinky. Yeah. It's very pretty. It's beautiful. Perfect for Easter spring stitching. I like this one. And it's not green. This is when I have to put it away. Oh, there it is. Look at that. This there. is called Violet Fizz. Is that As delicious. I could see a rabbit. It's like ice cream when you I, see Yeah, it. I could see like a white rabbit stitched on there. Look it's pretty beautiful. Yeah, I had to fold yeah. it. The yeah, the, past, the pastel colors, you have to fold them to get the true color. Yeah. It washes and out. And this is Frostbite. It's a very blue, pale, icy blue uh, with a little aqua. It. It's almost like an aqua. There, right there. Yeah. That is the perfect color. Almost like an aqua blue. Yeah. And there now we have, this one is... Um, Under the Seas fabric. This is called Red Skies at Night. And this is a 28 count Lugana. Lugana. And showing everyone, every count we have because... It's completely it's different. Change yeah. in the dye. This is the fabric that's used in the new Bella Filipina, the magic light, magic lamp. This is the 28. Let me check before. Yeah, this is the 28. Linen. Linen. And you can see the difference. Yeah. Between that, both. Yeah, now the 28 linen and the 32 linen is almost yeah, is identical. This, this is the 32 linen, but there's more uh, the reddish wine. Purplish. I'm thinking it's like wine reddish. Mm -hmm. It's more popping in the 32. Oh, okay, it's more very. Yeah, you can see it. Maybe she drank more wine while popping she was splashing it in. <laughs> yeah. This is the. Um, 18. 18 counts, Ada. Yeah, it's more subdued. So, yep. you, so you get a softer look. And, and this it, is the 16 counts, Ada. So it's more prominent. Yeah. I'm going to show you every yeah. every piece we have it because yeah. it depends on the count is is the the die yeah. on the the count takes the die different yeah now that is all new and coming back to the shop yep now the next items we're going to show is what we've been doing for a couple of months <laughs> well I, we're on letter M so what is that oh I don't know. Anyway, in the drop down menu, I have listed every video that we, when we started with the letter A. So what are, what we are doing is we're going through all our charts that we have in the shop on the website. And we're showing you everything we have in stock at the time on the website. So if we started with one week, we did letter A, then the next week we did B and so forth and so on. And I've listed the number, video number and the name of the video on in the drop down. And I'll continue doing that till we get to the end. That way, if you wanted to, if you're just now catching up, you're like, oh, what did they do the H yet? Go back. It's there. Yes. So, um, so we will continue all the way to the end of the alphabet. This has been a very fun and enlightening stash revisiting stash enhancement type videos because it's making me want to stitch more and more things. So this is M. We're starting with the letter M. And our first designer in the letter M is Madame Chantilly. All right. I love this little guy. This is called, where's she have the name at? Watermelon something. Watermelon Party. Mm -hmm. Look at that. And she uses just DMC. <coughs> is that not the cutest thing? So there's one pit one. So there's two patterns. There's that one. And then here is the party. Look at that. Is that not the cutest thing ever? And got, I love the little clothes. Well, they got the right color on too. Oh, okay. And this one is called Santa and the Gingerbreads. He's baking his little little gingerbreads. Is that cute? There's like a little girl there. You can tell she's got the pigtails and the ponytails. Those are cute. Mm -hmm. Now we have a Halloween one. This one is called. Pumpkin Thieves. 
pumpkin thieves. Look at that poor cat just hanging down there. Hanging on for dear life. Using almost all of his lives. Now we have... This is called Christmas. Now this one, this would be a cute one to add some of those little wooden buttons to, to like some little wooden stars here on here and there on the tree or some of the little ornaments it would be a great piece to add. Now we have Nose Up, Reindeer and Bunny. So these are like little stamps or like a little stamp collection there. That's gorgeous. I like the little bunny. Yeah. All this, oh, I forgot about this guy. Okay, here I go again. So this is My Sweet Love. I've been wanting to stitch him for a long time. My sweet love. With his little balloons. He is so cute. Yeah, they're very easy to stitch. And this is Halloween tea. Little witch with green hair and her Halloween tea. <coughs> Oops, let me show me in the camera. All right, now we have Halloween in a jar. So, we got the little house down here that's outlined in white to represent a jar. Then we got the lid and then we got some black roses on top. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like the black roses. You could do just the black roses. That'd be kind of fun piece. <gasps> Ooh, look at this one. This is called Halloween Goodies. I have this one in my stash too. I love the little cakes and, and pumpkins there. If you don't like spiders, you can always change the spiders out to more ghosts. And then we have here Halloween Cinderella. Cinderella, look at that. That pumpkin is very terrifying, but I love the horse. The horse is gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, this guy, I've done him. Where are they at? Oh, they're over there in the corner. This one is Halloween Mouses. He's, he's out of the sight. He's over oh. there. Do you want to go get him and show him? Go get him. That way we can see what modifications I did. Oh, 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 don't hurt yourself. <laughs> He's like, Gary. Box is in a different way. All right, so this is, the, and this is what I did with mine. So I changed it out a little bit brighter purple. I had some sparkly purple thread, and I just used that. So otherwise, it's pretty good. That's gorgeous. It's a fun piece. Yeah. Ooh, look at this red hair. Oh my gosh, she's got some good red hair. Don't make me this run is... again. <laughs> yeah, she's over there. Now this is Halloween party. Look at that red hair. Is that not the cutest? She is kind of weird because her arms, it looks like she's holding her head up above her arms when you first look at it. But no, it's it's kind of, it's going the other way. But it's, isn't it? It's like she's holding her head up. It's It's like... An yeah, illusion. Is that way. I know, but it, to me, the well, first thing I look at yeah. is her head's disconnected, but it's fun. Okay, we did that one. All right, now we have Freedom. And again, this is two little Beautiful. patterns. It's a little mouse holding some balloons here, patriotic balloons. And then we got a little um, watering can with more mice on it. So here's a bigger picture of the little one with the balloons. It's a cute uh, one. Cute. I like it when she throws two in there. And this one is one that I want to start to. It's called re retard, but it in it translates to late. So so the little reindeer is late. See, he's like way over here. He's like, wait up, Santa, I'm coming. <laughs> is that Rudolph? It better not be Rudolph. He's got a scarf on. He still has got his pajamas on. Hmm. Mm hmm. It's cute. Yeah. And now we have, this is Celebrate Winter. So she's done a couple of these tray two <laughs> pieces. So this is Celebrate Winter. Look at that little white owl up there. That's a nice owl. Yeah. The other one's coming back. Oh, okay. It's no um, In order. alphabetical because. Okay. Yeah. So here is Celebrate Spring. It's got the little bunny there, a little sign. A little Celebrate Spring on there. And of course, we got. Of course, we have to celebrate Halloween. A little funny little spider there, and little lots of little spiders, little jack o' lanterns. I love that ghost. This is celebrate Easter. Huh? What was mm -hmm. the other one? Was it celebrate Easter or spring? Um, spring. Okay. Spring. 
Yeah, in my there. yeah, I remember now. Okay, in in my mind, I think spring should be Easter, and this one should be spring. Cause this one says Easter, but it's more like springy stuff. And then we have celebrate Christmas. These are all fun. I love these because they're all with just DMC, so it's very easy to get started. Celebrate. <laughs> Are we celebrating? Autumn. Celebrate autumn. See, that's a fun one. It's another owl. Little squirrels. And now we have celebrate the 4th of July. Celebrate the 4th of July. And then this one we just showed last week, but he's still so cute. I got to show him again. Curious rabbit with the little tulips on top of his head. I love me more this week. And then we have Cats in the Rain. And, oops. Ooh, what's this one? Stuck. Oh my gosh. Wow, this one's got like four patterns to it. This is Be My Valentine. Give You My Heart, Be My that Valentine. That is beautiful. Look at that. Look at those bunnies. Oh my gosh. So you got all four of those patterns in this one. I like that one. Definitely have to get a nice fabric so the um, the white shows up really good. And with this one also has, does it have three? Yeah, this one has three patterns. So this is um, berries, berries and robins. So you got the long one right here that goes this way. I'm trying to see yeah, because it says home. This one says home. And then you got this one that goes that direction. And then you right. have, yeah, because there's three dimensions. And then you have that little one back there, a little uh, Valentine card oh, okay. or a little Christmas card or something. I just want to be sure. Yeah, because it's got the three okay. stitch counts. It's beautiful. I like this one to say home. Yeah, it's a great one for the front door. Yeah. For the winter time. And then we have blue flowers. You know, you can really tell a designer's aesthetic when you show all their stuff back to back, where they, you can see where they're going with I their designs. I bet you want to do that one. A cargo of eggs. Because I have rabbits in cars. I know. And you carrots. have to do more. I like rabbits with carrots. And this is, this one is called. What's the name? A cargo of eggs. A cargo of eggs, yeah. yes. This one is called Autumn Essentials. So it's like a little reef. Let's get your pie, your pumpkin pie, sweet potato pie. I like the little umbrella of the mushroom. And now we have, <coughs> they make it hard to read. It's white on white. A cup of Halloween, sweet Halloween. Oh, it's a cup of Halloween. It's like a Halloween mocha scarcino or something like that. And now this one is Advent Sunday. So they have it. Let's see, I'm trying to see the stack. Okay, so they've got two different stitch counts. So that means there's two patterns in here. So we have it as this way with the little candles and the little item, little things in the jars. Ooh. Or we have it this way where they've got the little tags. And because it's broken this way, you can do them individually. So they're more easy to separate. That is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, just... Yeah. And then we have, this is 4th of July in the jar. So similar to the Halloween in the jar, we've got the, the jars outlined here, get the little stuff there. And then we have the poppies on the top. But you could do, like I said before, you could do just the poppies. It's, that was cute too. But I like the whole thing. And that was Madame Chantilly. Chantilly. And we have another Madame. There's a lot of um, European designers in the M's. Madame Lafay. Yes. And this French. is French. And it's uh, Fleur Blau. Blue. Fleur Blau. For blue? Blue. Yeah, we have. One of the ladies in our Sunday Zoom is stitching this. It's very pretty. 
And then we have Hanami. This is an Asian inspired piece. There's the name right there. If I said it wrong, which I probably did. I'm very good at saying it wrong. Oh, oh, and I forgot. These ones. They these come with little is, charms. These ones have it. I don't, I don't yeah, she's really so. good about doing little charms. Okay. This one. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. Sorry, give me a minute because <laughs> I need the charm with this one. I don't know what is it is. It's in between. Uh, okay. This one, I don't know what is the the charm of this one is inside the chart. But this one, I can show it because it's outside. Yeah, you can pull it out. You give me a minute. Um, yeah, sure, then on top of that. Mm. This one, this one brings this little tree. Uh -huh. Oh, it's backwards. <laughs> uh, that little tree. Yeah. All right. Just let me put it back in the bag for not lose it. Yep. Now you can go with the next. Okay, the next one. So there's the little charm. So this one, um, I'm gonna let my my. Okay, this is the little charm. Okay, I'm gonna show you the name. And there if you want to see the name, there is the name. And there is the piece. Is that not pretty? I love the roses. That is Sir Du Jardin. Yeah. I didn't want to mess it up. This one I can clearly say. This says Scary Halloween. And this one has a little jack-o'-lantern. I get that. Scary Halloween. Oh, my gosh. This, this, the ghost there with the, with the ball and chain. I had this yellow lantern. Okay. Charm. All right. And then we have we have uh, Un Noel, Un Noel, with the little nutcracker there, a little Christmas tree, and the and charm. And have a cute little Christmas tree. Yeah. Where they put it at? They put it. I can see it. I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> Sorry, to figure it out that I can't find it. Hmm. Maybe you could put it on the tree. I think. I think it's up to the stitcher to put it where they want to put it. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. That. Or it's a little gift. I like that too. That too. All right. Now. Okay. Yeah. This is one designer. I think we like Manny Dodonna. There. I know, but this is the small ones. I think we like Manny Dodonna, and um, she's got a really big, big, big variety of patterns that she, she mm -hmm. designs. So the first one is, you good? Yes, yeah, I'm good. All right. I'm good. I just... All right, 31st October pillow. Oh my gosh, she's spooky, spooky, spooky. And then we have the American season. This is the autumn pillow. This just came out at Nashville. So this is the American Seasons Autumn Pillow. And when I'm gonna say, you see the shards last week is because we put it back and we don't we put them up. So this yeah. is American Seasons Spring Pillow. And this is American Seasons Summer Pillow. And now we have American Seasons Winter Pillow. Okay. Uh, this is here. Here we go. This is all good things. I love that one. Give thanks for all good things. A little sewing machine there. Look at that. <laughs> I just see it. Yeah. All good things. That's a cute one. And now we have uh, Fourth. Uh, no, this is America and Fourth of July pillows. So oh, I love the way that America's done. Look at that. It's like all patchwork America. And then you get the Fourth of Happy Fourth of July. All right, now this one is Autumn Bird House, and it comes with the little wooden, um, the wooden house that goes on the middle. So you stitch two of the houses, and the one in the middle is a little wooden painted charm. And the, give me a second. Yeah. Uh, this one got that way, I believe so. Yeah, I think so. And and these are charts are only available. Oh in, my God! It's that little bitty thing. Yeah. Well, until the um, charm 
goes away. You know, I won't let you get up this yeah, time. This I'll get up. Because this one is always... I like this. This one's always upside down. This is the Halloween birdhouse. Oh, why do you show it? We have it there. We have it there? I didn't I know. think so. I wasn't sure. I just wanted to show you. There's more than just well, one season. Yeah. Oh. I don't want to lose these buttons. Yeah. All right. Now we have the autumn pillow. A little scarecrow there. Is he not the cutest? Autumn pillow. There we have Believe. Mm -hmm. And now we have Blessed blessed Pillow. Is that, that, what we, that one? Okay. Blessed Pillow. And it's got the Called For Threads from Valdani. So that's Blessed Pillow. Yeah. And it's got the Called For Valdani Threads. Let me put it that shirt back in the bag. That way I'm be sure. It's, okay. Yeah. All Sorry right. Sorry for the noise guy, but I have to do it. Okay. So the next one here is Brave and Liberty Pillows. Home of the Brave, Land of Liberty. Is that cute? Look at that. And then we have Christmas cookies. Cookies for Santa and Rudolph. Hmm. And this is another birdhouse. This is the Christmas birdhouse. Mm -hmm. So here's the Christmas birdhouse. And it's got the little wooden one in the I middle. Can try it this way. Uh, yep. Yeah. So it's got the little, in the middle is a little wooden one. Yes. So these were stitched on 32 count to make sure the button fits right. And next one is Christmas Eve box and accessories. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of little things here. There's a little drum, a scissor fob. Look at all that little stuff. It's a cute one. All right. Oh, this one we have not shown. This is a brand new one from Nashville. Elegant Flower Sewing Box. Look at that. Is that pretty? This is done with Belsois Silks. It's done with um, Lily Pad, Paprika, and Noor. And there is a conversion to DMC. She also used her new fabric, the Gray Fog. Fog Gray. This is Classic Color Works Belsois. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, now we have five little pumpkins. What are those? Five little pumpkin pillows. That's cute. I want to see the, the words. You stitch all those words. All right, and then uh, last virtual market, we had the ghostly music sewing set. So here is the little drum, scissor fob, and a little needle book. Ooh, I forgot this one is out there. I saw this one. This one. This is God Save the King Sampler. It's a big one. This is nice and pretty. Look at those colors. Very cool looking. Love the blues and browns. It's all DMC. And this is Grateful Heart Pillow. Okay. And now we have ho Happy Halloween. Oh my gosh, there's a little ghost. He's sewing. <laughs> Happy Halloween. So the the little ghost of Ronnie is sewing and I'm there watching over top of him. <laughs> keep sewing, Ronnie, keep sewing. Yeah, yeah. All right, now this little piece I have had, I think I got this in 2015. I've had this and I'm supposed to be stitching it with someone. She's already stitched hers and finished hers. This is Halloween Day Sewing Basket. And it comes with a little wooden handle and a little bat button. All right. So you make it into a little box. That, that, and the little button is over here. Which is the cutout from the handle, which is kind of cool. That it's oh, yeah. nothing's, nothing's gone to waste. Yeah. I love that. Okay. It's so precise. I will stitch this. I've, I keep looking for the perfect gray. Ooh, this is the perfect one. Ooh, this is the perfect one. And I can't make a decision on the fabric. That's my excuse. It's a very small basket. Doesn't take any time to all the stitch. Oops. Now I'll we have. Make it. Huh? And make it as easy to. I don't know. It's like. they, they got all the instructions on how to make it. This is home harvest home pillow. 
the home harvest home pillow okay and now we have oh, sorry guys this is the piece that ronnie stitched and yes. did as a smalls exchange a small exchange for stitch con yeah this is i and love I remember who who got it yeah i love usa set so it comes with yeah. this little wooden piece and then you stitch that and you stitch that the stars a little goodies little pins oh those are star pins oh cool yeah it's one star um three stars okay hold on is one is three stars pins and one is star for um over the bottom okay a little charm this is the little star oh oh it's you color see? three red white and blue pins mm -hmm. and one little yeah it goes at the bottom a star here. going the bottom there. at the bottom yeah. oh, i don't remember cute. what this is last year market i think so yeah and i make it made it for the exchange mm -hmm. All right, and then this, I love it. this is Let's Celebrate. I like this. This is done on that uh, fabric flare fabric that's got the stars on there. So you just stitch the words, which is very fun. And then we got Hope. This No, this is the Liberty Lane. Liberty Lane pillow. Red, white, and blue. Okay. Then we got Old Main Street. God bless America, land that I love. It's Old Main Street. And then we have Near Halloween Sewing Box. Oh, that's a cute one. Make a little box there. And now we have seasonal. So she's got some seasonal salt box home house pillows. This is autumn. So we're gonna go through the seasons. We have autumn, we have spring. I'm giving more color to the spring. Yeah, it might be just a photo. It might be a nice, pretty pink. Yeah. And this be. is summer. And then we have winter. Oh, look at that, it's got flamingos on it. Oh, uh, yeah. And then we have winter. Oh, we got another, this is a spring bird house. Ooh, that's a pretty one, look at that. Yes. So this is the spring bird house. And this is the little box. Mm -hmm. It's so cute. Yeah. I need to finish my others. This is spring pillow. And it's coming, I'm thinking winter. Um, spring pillow. House too. I think we did winter already. Oh, we did? Well, yeah, this is we do, this is summer. Here's a summer birdhouse. We just got the like the lighthouse there. We don't try this one already? No. Oh. Okay. Not the lighthouse. And then we have summer pillow. It's a it's a pirate scarecrow. Ooh, it's kinda cool. And we have uh, Flag Farm. This was new from market. And then we have Tea Time Sewing Set. I think we still have some of the thread packs for the Tea Time. Tea Time Sewing Set. And now we have, okay, we're going to sh show this. We have the Blessing of Christmas. Yeah. So we have it in two, it's printed two different ways. It's printed as a, the original small, mm -hmm. and then it was reprinted as, large as a larger format, so it's easier to see. But I love these pillows. Yeah. And you just stitch the words. You have to get the ticking fabric to um, finish off the pillows. Okay. Wow. But wait, there's more. My, my man. More of the Manny Dodonna. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Look at this. <laughs> this is something else. This is Good Life. The Good Life. Look at that. Oh, that's cute. Do you stitch? Oh, no, it's fabric around. Okay. Oh, this was from, uh, this is the House of Keys. You make that little box and stuff. All right, and now we have Pilgrim's Pillow. Look at that, Pilgrim's Pillow. 
I know I have that one to stitch. Now we have a simple life. Did we? That sounds familiar. The simple life. Of whom? I have a simple life. Oh, look at you. <laughs> Welcome Street uh, sewing box. Oh, that's pretty. I like, sorry, I like that little piece right there. I like how they did the bottom of the pattern. Okay. Time to be grateful. I'm going to be grateful. All right. And then she was, she did, um, oh, there's winter. So here is 12 days of Christmas series. This is Partridge and um, the Doves. So it's part one and two of the 12 days of Christmas. Oh, what is this? Is that three? It's number one and number two. Oh. It's the word, it's the number, one and two. Okay, so that one yeah. again. And there is the little charms. They have number one, number two on it. Yeah. Yeah. The number two have like an angel. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yep. There you go. That's why I was confusing. Oh, me. I guess we didn't show the winter house. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, so here is the winter house. I win, I win, I win. <laughs> He's paying attention. Yeah. Here's the winter house. Yeah. And now we have the winter pillow. I love it. Okay. And now we have witch spells. So it's two little pillows, hocus pocus, abracadabra, potion and potion, death and love. And that go be. That's it for Manny Dadana. Witch spells. All right. And we have a special treat. This is a designer. She's only made one design that I know of. Uh, she reached out to us and we carry her exclusive design. It's Marlene's design. It's a nation of immigrants. And look at that. It's very pretty. So it's a nation of immigrants. I want to read that. Let's see it. It's a quote. Remembers our always that all of us are descendant of from immigrants. That's Franklin Roosevelt. We may have outcomes on different ships, but we are in the oh my god, in the same boat now. Martin Luther King. We are in always will. A nation of immigrants. Obama. Love it. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, ooh, now we got some good, some nice, bright, 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 bright things here. We have Meridian Designs. Mm -hmm. This is Honey Maple. He's so cute. Look at it. Honey Maple with the bees and the, a little cupcake. So it's Honey Maple. I love this little chocolate bunny because somebody bit his ear. Chocolate bunny. It's gorgeous. So someone took a bite out of his ear. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Now this next one, she did a, a Marini design is, is well known for her teeny weeny bikinis. And this is teeny weeny bikini, the doctor's in. Those of you who know who, know who this is. <laughs> And how one... It's a sonic screwdriver. Yeah, so there it is. A little know. charm. Yeah, a little charm. All right, and then we have uh, the Teeny Weenie Pirate Bikini. Look at that one. There's her. And she has a little charm of skull and crossbones. I'm going to show in this way. Yep. There. Okay. And that uh, uh, and then we have Teeny Weeny, Great Britain, and there's a little crown. The crown is cute. Look at the flag, the Great Britain flag. And there is a hook oh. there. Oh, I can. Yeah. There. Oh, yeah. There. I love her interpretation of how she, she makes them all work the theme. So the next one is a semi kitted. Basically, it comes with some of the with the, the finishing finish the finishing fabrics is all it comes with. It's called American Pie. 
that way. And I'm not sure if the, re the newer charts yeah. come with that. I think it's only when we bought them at market that one year. Yeah. So she had a limited supply. Oh, hey, we just, oh, interesting. So here is, um, for those of you who liked the pattern that came out at market this year, here is a, another pattern similar. This is file language, fluent in file language. You, you got one, why not get both of them? <laughs> That's cool. And now we have a couple of Bitcoin news. This is Tonal Tonal Tongo. Oh, I'm, wait, wait. I'm sorry. I'm putting it back. Doing? I'm putting it wrong. You have to go one. Oh. Yes. Okay. Tonal was... Tonal Tongo one. We have to uh -huh. do green first. Yes. And then we have Tonal Tongo two. Two is for blue. It's got beads and everything on there. And then we got Tonal Tongo 3. There you go. Yeah. Cool little Bisco news. Now we have more. Yeah, hold that one, sir. More, more, more. Uh, Meridian Designs. This is Flamingo Row Winter. Love those flamingos. You could do them all like that, or you could do them individually and make them little ornaments. I think they'd be super cute as individual ornaments. And then if you got flamingos in the winter, why not have them in the Halloween season? I love the little witch, the witch one here on her leg. And then there's a cat flamingo. Here's a man after my heart. <coughs> this is Mardark, Mur Murdoch. Warrior of the Sea. He is stitched and hanging in the house. Where not? He may or may not ever show up at the shop because he is very near and dear to my heart. Maybe on exclusive times. This is the Force Sprite. And while Ronnie shows that, I'm gonna pull this down here and open it up because, sorry, sorry, sorry. This is the fabric that I just did the world holiday on that I think, this is Anubis, 28 count. We have it in 18 and 16. Would she not be perfect on this fabric? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. This. I'm not sure what she's called for, but. Uh, no. no. Um, oh yes, she's called for Anubis. What oh, do you really? know? What is it? Right there, 28 count Anubis. Oh. Wow, okay. I guess great minds okay. think alike. <laughs> All right. And now we have the Dead Sea Mermaid, which I am stitching this one. I started a while ago. I need to get back to stitching her. Dead Sea Mermaid. She's like a zombie mermaid. Oops, sorry about that. And then we have Mealy the South China Sea Mermaid. Oh my God, look at that. Is that not the most gorgeous? That turtle, look at that. Oh, that's so cool. Love that piece. Oh wait, did we just do her? Yes. I still love her. She's in my stash. Yep. I need the plastic here. Oh, thank you. Okay. And now we have Bitty Bites. Oh, look at this. Oh, I love desserts. Bitty Bites, where's the name at? Bitty Bites. Oh, yummy, 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 yummy. That was it for Meridian Design. Meridian Designs, yep. Now, I need this other. Now, we're going to go with Michelle Inc. So, we have Love and Joy. Love and Joy come to you. Oh, this is pretty. Okay, Love and Joy. And this is Quaker Gone Holiday. Look at this piece. Is this not pretty? You could always change these up. I like these pieces that's monotone like this. You can change them up to meet your your holiday colors. Like if you wanted shades of green or shades of blue or and just or, silver. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Some people or, like or all in white. If you did it on like a dark red fabric and you did them all in white. <sighs> or dark blue. Ooh, like this dark blue. Like this dark blue. I got fabric right here. And the white. dark blue with white. Wow. Or yeah. silver. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. See, I can't have fabric too close to me. <laughs> All right, here is uh, Quaker Gone Poe. Look at this. 
I love this piece too. Quaker Gone Poe. Yeah, Michelle Ink's got some great designs. All right, now we right. have Oops. here. Okay, this is gonna be fun. Now we've got some Mill Hills. So this is um, a, a very old one, Treasured America. And those are the designs in there. Okay, too many of these ones are kids and I don't know, open because- We don't wanna lose one. all the yeah. little, little guts. It's too much so I am going things. to play the best I can to make sure it doesn't um, um, glare. So this is sticks. It's called sticks. Okay. So it's uh, it's on paper, perforated paper, and it's so that's the name of it. Sticks. That's good. Yeah, I love. Look yeah. at that moon. Is oh that my gosh, good? that moon is good. So see, it's got all the the goodies back here inside this. Even a needle. So just run and go. All right. Now, oh my god, oh, okay. <gasps> I still need to stitch him. Okay, this is Monster Mash. I want to stitch him, but I'm going to stitch him on fabric. Yeah, this kid have the thread, the beads, beads um, the paper. The paper. Yeah. Yeah, everything is in the kit. Yeah, I want to stitch him on, on fabric and make a little ornament out of him. Ooh, look at this. This is cool. Midnight Glow. Yeah, look at that. Oh, oh. My glare. They uh, had tons of beads. Yeah. Yeah, but but, you, but you need all the beads to make the sh the sparkle yeah. of the candles and everything. And the like wax that. falling from the candle. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. And, and then we have uh, Wanda's clothesline. She's also done on paper. Wanda's clothesline. And I think, and we also have the frame to do the. Um, we have the frame Ooh, the, the color. Remember the q button yeah in there then we have these are from their colonial santa series this is the plymouth santa plymouth santa okay and then we have the jamestown santa oh the bird we don't show it no we didn't have we it, didn't have it. Okay. no but it's, it should still be available all right well no give me the bags pass in the bags so we will do this well oh can I do these first? Yeah, do that first. <laughs> because I'm, this is a... Um... Okay. So this is um, Mirabilia, who's our next designer. And this is the Christmas Eve elf. Should I make Ronnie go find? I don't know where she's at. She's somewhere in the house. Some of our Christmas stuff she's is still over up. over there. Oh, she's over there. Or she's, I don't know. They run all over the place. This is the Christmas Eve elf. Okay. And then we have the Halloween Fairy. I know she's over here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Halloween Fairy. And these are just the charts. They're not no longer kitted. They're just charts. This is the Easter Fairy. I need to get her framed. I have her stitched, but I need to frame her. And this is the Thanksgiving Harvest Fairy. I started this with Caroline and I never did pick her up again. And this is Miss Valentine. I have not even started her yet. Oh my gosh. Now I do, um, they do have, um, for the skin on those, they they have it charted with a variegated and it's a bit off-putting for me. So I change it to an, a normal skin tone that's not variegated. This first one is called uh, Giggles in the Snow. There's Giggles in the Snow. No, you need to meet back. Oh, back. Okay. Over here. All right. Thank and you. now we have Tatina, Queen of the Fairies. Titina. Okay. And then we have uh, Summer. Oh. Summer in my garden. Oh, my God. Look at those gladiolas. Summer in my garden. No, oh, I'm not. He has to train me. I'm untrainable. Shimmering Mermaid. Oh. <gasps> Just, ooh, Shimmering Mermaid. Ooh, I love her. I got it, I got it. This is Lily of the Woods. Doing that Lily of the Woods. And this is Archangel. Is that Michael? Archangel. Okay. Then we have Petal. I still need to stitch her. Petal Fairy. 
Who's this? Oh, her sister. Feather, Feather Fairy. And then we have the Forest Goddess. Look at that one. Oh, I gotta show her up close. This is Stargazer. I think she was reprinted. Stargazer. And this is the Bliss Fairy. Okay, this is the sister to the other one. This is Bliss Fairy. This one is Mermaid of Atlantis. Oh, I know all my Mirabilia ladies are going like, oh my gosh, you still have that one. You're going too far. My arms hurt. <laughs> so, <laughs> he keeps throwing them at me. I'm like, no, you don't have to. All right. Bluebeard's me. Princess. Oh, my Santa. That is Win deep. Winter White Santa. And he still comes with the, um, the big uh, crystal that goes on top of the tree. Oh, this is Circle of Friends. I see so many whips I want to start because I know I have these charts ready to start. Oh, Meridian, Mediterranean Mermaid. So I think, does she go this way? Or would she not be cool like, I don't know, I see her going like that. But I think she goes that way. I know she goes that way. Night Nymph. I did the day one. So the Night Nymph in her bead pack, she comes with all of the called for Valdani threads. So it's a very big pack. This is oh, Tree of Hope. I think I'm, I'm supposed to stitch this with someone. I have yet to start mine. Bianca Bella. Yeah. That is um, her version of a Snow White, I think. Um. This is no. the this is the Raven Queen, and I still have to finish her. I've got her dress done, but I have no skin or anything else. I just got the dress done. The Raven Queen. Ooh, look at the twins. The twin mermaids. Ooh, wow. Bianca Bella, I'm thinking it's um did you say it's no white, no, it's no white. The beauty sleep. Because she is she is having an apple. Snow White ate an apple and went to sleep. This is Snow White? Yeah. Sleeping Beauty pricked her finger on a, on a needle. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All right. Oh, my gosh. I'm confirmed. Yeah. yeah don't... Too long ago. I yeah. All right. The, the Gypsy Queen. I have like 30 stitches on her, and that's about it. That's really sad. I got to get some of these ladies done. I know. Oh, this is Aphrodite. She is my, oh, I love her. Aphrodite mermaid. Okay. I don't want to wrinkle these uh, shards just because I'm doing this way. Yeah. And this is Miss Christmas Eve. I know, Lisa, I'm supposed to be starting her with her with you one day, but you're not ready either, so I'm good. <laughs> All right, Miss Cherry Blossom. Oh, I wonder if she would look good on that peach fabric we just got. I don't know. She's a big girl. She may not fit. Um, March, March Aquamarine Fairy. So this is my birth fairy. Look at her. She's got her cabbage dress on and everything. Very pretty. I like her. This one was. That's my birth month. And this, oh. She's over there. Yeah. This is Lady Justice. I did a skin conversion and a hair conversion on mine. Everybody loves and it. And she'll be in the shop. Ooh, look at her. Cathedral Woods Goddess. Sorry. Hmm? I'm hitting the table with oh. that side. Ooh, this is Queen Bee. I could spend Ooh. the next... Be careful, this one. I'm going to mess it up and I'll pull it out of Blessed. Okay, I'll do the right. This is uh, Starlet. Let's see, can you yeah, see her? Yeah, Oh, there she is. That's good. Starlet. Ooh, she's pretty. Right, and then we have Mermaid Perfume. Oh, fish. Oh, wow. Oh, this is uh, Echo Lake. 
This is a very Art Deco-ish style mermaids. Are they? They're like very super cool. They kind of blend into the background. Here's Ophelia. She was very hot. And now we have, oh my, I forgot about this one. The three mermaids. Mm -hmm. I thought it was one mermaid with three tails. There's three mermaids. And now we have Blossom. Mm. This is the beauty sleep. <laughs> yes, this is, this is um, Rose, Rose, Ma Rosa Mud, Rosa, Rosa Mund, Rosa Mund, Rosa Mund. Okay, yeah, that's Sleeping Beauty. I symbolize. Yeah. You and have to put it there. Just put it oh. Lavender Mist. I like her because she looks like it's like a portrait. How it's cut off like that. It's like the fabric turns into the mat. I think it's very cool. Portrait of the Queen. Portrait of the Queen. Ooh, look at her. Off with her head. <laughs> I love this one. Nightingale. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's beautiful. Nightingale. She's not the most gorgeous. Oh, wow. Luda. Luda? Oh, she's very bright. I love her bright colors with the hot pinks and everything in there. And the fuchsias. And, of course, Blackbird. These ladies are so cool. Okay, then we have Goddess Garden. She, she gave us a little break there, gave us a little fountain. And then, what is this one? This is the Muse. We're getting into the newer ones now. The Muse. Nope, we finished it. This is and the last me, one. Amelia. This is Mira February Amelia. Amethyst. Mm -hmm. fairy and I think with this one when this one came out now all 12 of these birthstone fairies are out so there's that we can leave that here we'll get another box yeah all right the next group is all in plastic because she's got them sealed with her sticker so we'll respect the the designer's um, copyright protection method. Yes. Okay. And this is my Fanny. Mm -hmm. And this one is called uh, 31. I'm trying my best. There it is. I got it. Okay. All right. And this one is Autumn Path. Look at that little fox. He's so cute. Yeah. Then we have give thanks. This one is gonna be hard because the, the string is in the way. Oh. I think you guys can you you'll get the message. It's a little turkey there with a car. Give thanks. Yeah. Because everyone's always in the car. Go. It's a truck. And there's a little pumpkin there. Oh, that's cute. And now we have hocus pocus. Broom parking five cents. And then you got the little legs for the scissor fob. Look at that. Hocus pocus. So we got five DMC colors. That's it. Wow. This is Noel. I love this little deer. <laughs> so she did a collection of Santas. This is number one. Of course, he's the green Santa with the snowman. All right, now here we are. These strings are in the right place. Yes. This is number two. Santa two. This is Santa five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we saw all the other ones. Yeah. And Santa six. These ones are very, very cute. Yeah. Summer Lane. Oh my God, look at the little hedgehog with the watermelon. Oh my gosh, Summer Lane. And then we have Spring Road. With a little rabbit, just in time for Easter. And then we have Winter Avenue. 
or the little penguin. Let me turn over new. This was my funny charts. Mm -hmm. Now we go with Miss Prim. Yep, Miss Prim. Dead Man's Tavern sign. So I'll show it this way so you can read it. Mm -hmm. And then we have um, Headless Horseman pillow. I like this one. I think I have this one. And now this one is Martha Washington. Here's Martha Washington. Great little pillow. Oh, wait. Oh, it goes that way. Uh, no, that way. Oh, okay. Now we have um, Sweet Miss Claus. Here's Sweet Miss Claus. A little gingerbread. And then we have Sweet Santa. I love the little pillows. Oops. Oh, here's Washington slept here. So we have Martha and then we have Washington. These are cute. And that was Miss Prim. It was Miss Prim. All right. Now we have a few selection of modern folk and burby uh, designs that are available through distribution that we carry. This is um, All Are Equal in Death. I love that one. I love this piece. Either you stitch it on black fabric with all the white stitches or you stitch it with dark fabric and you turn all these white stitches to dark color. Yeah. Or you could do it in colors because I think it'd be kind of cool to do the vines in green. I don't or know. Brown. In brown. And I would have done in brown. The, and... the vines in brown and the leaves in green and then the skeleton in black or something. I don't know. I keep, in my mind, I keep seeing a color, color way of doing it. And then we have, um, this is called a winter border sampler. Is that not pretty? Look at that. Again, it's showing in red, but you could pick any single color you like and change it up for blue or white, reverse it. This is a small Christmas sampler. That's what I love about these single piece, single color pieces. You can make them your own. Scandinavian sampler, or just have a whole wall of red Christmas samplers. That'd be cool. And then we have Noel. Noel. And this is real comfort. Okay. Real comfort. It's um nothing here. Huh. Right. And then we have O oh, Tidings of Comfort and Joy. This looks like a sweater to me, doesn't it? It looks it looks really cool. I love this piece. I know you read that. Right. Ah, there is love. Ah, there is nothing like staying at home for real comfort. <laughs> That's my motto. Uh oh, now we have the Zimmerman Zimmerman cover, coverlet. This, this is really pretty. I mean, you could frame it like this. This is a piece that that is really um, easy to convert. Yeah. Play with. Have fun with. <gasps> Look at this. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. I don't like this one. I didn't remember seeing this one before. Very cute. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, ooh. Okay, all right. All right, now we have Monticello. Yep, one of our favorite designers. It's next door in Georgia. Yeah. This is neighbor, a our neighbor. Our neighbor. This is a gentle needle. A gentle neither a gentle needle needle soothes the restless heart. Kind of, one that I love that's it. kind of my motto where I need stitching, it calms me down. I don't it, when I'm stressed out, I stitch. And here is a rising tide lifts all boats. It's mer people. A merman and a merwoman. Be nice or leave. 
I like that one. I need to have that one on every door of my house. Yeah. That is very uh, bless your heart kind of kind of Southern's charm. I love mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. And this is one of her new ones that came out at market. This is for this child I prayed, and I've already read it once before in a previous video. <laughs> you know, go read it again. No. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, and then we have, oh, that was a big bag. Then we oh, have yeah, one, Friend yeah. of All. I would be Friend of All, the foe of friendlessness. I would be giving and forget the gift. I would be humble, for I know my weakness. I would look up and laugh and love and lift. Look at that. Very cool border. I love the leaf. All the leaves are just flowing in the colors there. Yeah, Very I bright. What I'm doing here. You figure out this is what? Oh, free and about. Okay. Sorry. Forever with the Lord. Look at this. Is this not pretty? Oh my God. Look at the colors. It's very bright and cheery. I love this piece. I'll give you both at once. Thank you, sir. And this is Holiest Night. Oh, I remember seeing this one in market last year. Holiest Night. It's very bright and cheery. Very positive piece and then this is another new one that just came out at market this is love never ends look at that it's all stitched with dmc's super gorgeous piece i mean it it's done on a printed fabric but i don't think you really need it i mean i think the colors and everything is so gorgeous that it wouldn't need it i love this one Keys to happiness. Never put the keys to your happiness in someone else's pocket. That is so true. Oh, I, this was one of her first patterns. I remember getting the postcard from her when she introduced herself. And this was the piece was the, on the postcard. It's beautiful. Yeah, I love that piece. Yeah. And then we have Always Love. This is in French. Thank you for putting the translation there for me because I, it says Always Love. Very pretty. So that was Monticello. And now we have, we're going to go to Australia. We went Georgia to Australia. We're going to go to Moho Stitches. Oh. And this is Afternoon in the Garden. And that is in plastics yeah. too. And this is General Arts, Week Style Works, Classic Color Works. Very pretty piece. Ooh, all my favorite threads are red. Mm -hmm. All my favorite threads are green. I could change this piece. Oh, of course you will. All my favorite threads are red. <coughs> and it's a great Valentine piece because it's got like hearts in the tree and everything. It's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous piece. Yeah, it is. Oh. And this piece, I love this piece. This is simple, but it's perfect. Be merry. Perfect to put in with your berries and your little pin pillows and stuff in the front door. Be merry. And then this is a Christmas bells pill keep, uh, pin keep. So it's got like the little flowers there that come down like little bells. Christmas bells. I remember this one. This is falling leaves. This is done with cottage garden threads. Falling leaves. And this is in the library. This is all done with cottage garden threads. I think we still have the thread pack in the library. This is LT1909. It's a red sampler, so really pick any favorite red you like, or pick a bunch of them and mix it up. Oh boy, uh, Lavina Compton, 1838. It's a thick one, so it's a nice big pattern. Look at that. Interesting. Is those like beehives or no? They're grapes. I'm thinking beehives, but they were grapes. The grapevines. <laughs> they got bees on the mind. All right. This is peace, oh, wow. peace and plenty. A New Year's wish. This is all in red. It's very, Ooh, very gorgeous. Look at that. Peace and plenty. It's a New Year's blessing. That's funny because when I'm pulling out the charts, I just. Yeah. 
Exit, 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 and I don't know attention. This is uh, Rosella's Rest. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Gorgeous bird. Many of these shirts, got y'all, is like I'm watching the first time with you. Yeah. This is the Humble Sampler. Harriet Ooh. Turner, 1868. I love it. The bottom piece for making the lawn. Oh, yeah. yeah. You could do that. What is it? Let's see. It's just. Um, All seeks to be first. Must rank. I don't. Know. Who who seeks to be first must rank himself last, and learn with com with with commonplace once to wait on the least. Hard to know. Yeah, it's kind of all the words run together, so it's kind of hard yes, to read. It is. All right. Now we have that Imps. was Moa's Kitchen. Yep. Now we're going back to Europe. We're just jumping all over the globe here. Now we're going to MTV. This is Trick or Treat. This was the last year market release. Trick or Treat. And now we have Sisters in Stitch. This just came out. It doesn't have to be a blood sister. It could be a stitching sister. Then we have... Peaceful Cottage Winter. Okay. And then we have, this is a, yeah. Okay, so we have My Heart's Place Sewing Box. And it is a very thick pattern with a bunch of little things to do. Make that little 3D house. And then uh, additionally, you can, you can get the um, finishing kit of the fabrics and stuff, the felts and the, interfacing that kind of stuff so it's a separate piece mm -hmm. right now we have more mtv this is loving daisy sewing set this is the one that had the uh, little we showed the little daisy needle minder so there is the set for this piece so you get the three you do the oh, three pieces okay. of stitch yeah right. and then we have ladies Ladybug's Flower Buffet. Ladybug's Flower Buffet. And now we have the Autumn in a Pot. So you stitch this piece and you make the little teepee thing and then that little biscornia goes in the side in the bottom. Beautiful Queen. Look at that, another queen bee. Mm. Beautiful, beautiful clean queen. That's hard to say. All right, and now we have Blue Iris Sewing Set. Look at this cute little sewing set. She has a lot of very intricate, um, gorgeous work. I mean, I just, her designs are so pretty. Here's Corn Flowers. A little, make a little bag there with a little scissor fob and a little needle book. Put it all together. Enchanted Wings. Oh my God, look at that butterfly. Wow. Enchanted Wings. And then this next one is a fall pin cushion. You stitch all these little pieces separate and then you pin, you stitch them all together in the little piece work. So it's like one of those little ball things. Very cool. And now we have Graceful Dragonfly. Okay. And the last one from MTV is happiness in every stitch. That's what we should say, because that's what we do. All Unless you're right. Oh, here's your last one. All right, now we have my big toe. My big toe. Now we have a couple of more. Yep, we got a little bit more to go. So My Big Toe, uh, we work a lot with, with uh, My Big Toe as she makes a lot of our little um, trinkets that we put in our mystery boxes. The yeah. little um, uh, thread keeps. She makes little thread keeps for mm -hmm. us with little with the little coach, coach things on them. It's very great. I love her stuff. This is um, 
building rest building blocks rest oh you can no read those yeah i can't read all that <laughs> building blocks rest that is very cool is it only two colors oh my gosh amazing it's only two colors a red and a brown it's all backstitched so it's so it can be done by it looks like it would be ada ada friendly because it's all backstitched yeah the words yeah. all right and now we have create beauty look at that isn't that pretty create beauty uh, perfect little piece for uh, um, a smalls exchange no, create beauty. Love it. gracious words are as honeycomb sweet to the soul health to the body so it's gracious words oh that's cute and then we have he leadeth me by his own hand he leadeth for his for by his hand he leadeth me his faith followed i would be pretty blue Oh, here's hope. That's cute. Oh, I like that one. Wow. That's really pretty. I will bless the Lord at all times. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Keeping him up past his bedtime. Past his bed? Oh. And I was thinking going to work in the butter. Uh, my cup overflows with blessings. With blessings. I love that one, too. Yeah, that's gorgeous. I want you to see that. There you go. All right. So I have a couple more to go. This is straight paths to all your ways to in in little in all your ways submit to him and he will make your path straight. It's Proverbs. Cool. All right. Taste and see that the Lord is good. This is very religion for Yeah, she has a lot of, like... she's got a lot of religious um, sayings and stuff, and they're really cool. Uh, which came first, the needle or the thread? The thread. <laughs> oh, Jesus, I don't know, I don't know. Because in, in the times they're doing needles and wood. Oh, yeah? Yeah, there's no metal. Or, or porcupine. Porcupines? Maybe porcupines. I don't know. No asking me. You <laughs> confuse me now. <laughs> Here, you want another box? Oh. You can use yes. that box. All right. Yes. So now we have um, my sister Samplers. She's a fairly new designer. And she's got, she's got some really great designs here. So this first one I'm going to show you is an interesting one because it's... Um, Anna Hansen. So we have this chart listed in the website two different ways. We have it kitted with the silk threads as one way, and then we have it as the chart only. So we only have one of them that's kitted with the threads right now. Yeah. This is Anna Anna Hansen. And it comes with all the glory on the threads that you would need, all the silk yeah. threads you'd need to the stitch other ones that are gone. this piece. So the, um, the, it does have a conversion to DMC, so if you didn't want the expensive one with the silk threads you can get the other one without the threads and use dmt and then here is beast birds and berry tree but what i like when the designers do those thread packs they give you just the amount of threads you need so you're not buying whole skeins which is good Ooh, i like this one this is dorothy leeds this was last year's market release it's all one tone one color and now the last one for tonight is Mary Ann Hutchins. And you do it in blue. Where are you the red? Oh my God, the blue, it's so tiny. She did it over one on 40 count, I think. Wow. I saw it and it was like, oh my God, it's so tiny. But yeah, that is gorgeous. And that, y'all, was the M. The M's. Oh, I don't know what happened to this. I don't know. All right. So 
uh, we want to thank you guys for staying with us all these past weeks while we've been going through the letters of the alphabet for which designers. So next week we will do the letter N. N O N O because so we don't have too many N's and O's. Yep, so that'll be fun. We can do two with one with one video. And um we we do look forward to seeing if you're in the area, if you're stopping by to come stop by for the grand April opening. grand opening on April the twenty seventh of Garon Stitchery, our first physical store, L N S. It's going to be we're so excited. Um it's been a very long dream come true. And um and so we're excited to be able to hang out with people in person. Yep. <laughs> we love you guys virtually, but we, I will, I will give hugs. I'm thinking it's Tuesday the 28th and we are in voices for the clubs. Go be out. I'm running this week with the bag of the month mm -hmm. and I hope I'm going to be finished by Sunday. Because I'm, I'm running here, I'm running to the store, and I'm running to the sewing all week. Yeah. And I just had to give in a couple hours at a time for everything, mm -hmm. uh, all my tasks. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I've, so um, this week we will be start pulling things out of the website and loading them into our new POS system for this, for the store. Yeah. So, and we'll be putting barcode labels on the items and stuff and. Yeah, that's a big task. Tuesday, I was there all day because we had eight to something appointment for the alarms, mm -hmm. and the guy come in eight and he finished by three, and there I had the appointment at four till six for the two tables delivery. Yeah, and I was there waiting, and the guy showed up for four or five or some yeah or something like that, and. The moment they deliver, I'm running back home. <laughs> yeah, as as my weeks, as my days yeah. now. The, but, it's, know. but it's been going pretty good, though. Yeah, he ran me there. And when people finish or I'm finished, he picked me up. And yeah. it's going to be a... So he doesn't really run. <laughs> <laughs> he rides. Run, he, rides I mean, from, he rides from here to there. I mean... Go there, go here, and go down. <laughs> down the hill, as we call it. All right. All right. I'm thinking is all for now. Yep. So now thank we've got. Thank you, Jal, for you. holding with us and our craziness. Mm -hmm. And after this is a little video, the unpromise from yep. the last update. Yep. The last update of the shop. And I'm thinking it's gonna be the last video till the grand opening for the building. I don't know. What do you think? Uh, you know Did what? You I don't video? think I don't think he can hold back yeah. without sharing. You, oh, wait, you, wait. Y'all tell me you want more videos of the shop each time we put our products in. Yeah. I did have one more announcement that we were supposed to do in announcements. And um, we yes. turned our page and forgot. Stitching in the Wild. Yes, yeah, Stitching in the Wild. Uh, we know a lot of the attendees that go to that's going to be going to Stitching in the Wild that's September... Uh, 2024 we have two weekends both weekends are currently sold out um we are having t-shirts made we have a uh, a maker that's in our facebook group that will be making the t-shirts for you uh you have your choice of of multiple shades of gray green <laughs> and she is not doing she is have a her business is made t-shirts she have many other retreats and other uh different t-shirts make mm -hmm. That she is very kind to working with us and do our um, attendees t-shirts. Yeah. So um, those of you that are not on Facebook, because we did post in the Stitching in the Wild Facebook group, her information that she made her post there, we will be sending out emails to those of you that are not in Facebook. Yeah, let so us that know. you can contact her and order your t-shirts. Yeah, let us know if you need the link and we happy to send it. No? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So we... We have to descend. <laughs> I am the world we. We we. we, we. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. All right. So thank you guys for hanging out with us this long. Bye. Bye. Yeah, I love you. <laughs> we we. <laughs>
a very strong show. I'm sorry, part of a strong show. The first one is Fox and Rabbit. We got that table yesterday. It's for y'all to put the stash when you are looking for shards. And this other one is for you to shake the fabrics. Here is the ladies' bathroom. There is a shelf. Right now, this is a mess room, but this will be the storage room. You see that we already have a paper towels and go be the refrigerator go be. I'm going to have a refrigerator here with drinks um, and water for if customers want to a drink. And this is our progress.